what's going on YouTube this is Braden's Outdoors um, I just want to thank everybody for subscribing um, and I hope y'all are having a great Friday I'm going to uh, show y'all I'm going to tell y'all how to keep a Kawasaki Mule 3010 2000, 2001 Kawasaki Mule 3010 from overheating because it overheated on me the other day probably, probably it's been a little bit and it overheated and I we figured I figured it out so stay tuned for more I'll show you how how I do it okay so this right here is my ride I love this thing I ride the mess out of it all the time it's, we left it out last night in the rain mm, not very good but I didn't we forgot all about it so the other day I was out there riding and I was sitting here and that light right the top light came on because I know the bottom lights for the parking brake. Well, that top light came on, and I was like, "Well, crap! What do I do?" But I figured it out. On the Kawasaki Mule Thirty Tens, they have this little button right there. It's like push, and it'll pop this hood, and that's how you get to the radiator. It's got I like this little extra storage compartment thing right here. So that right there is the radiator, and that's where you can tell and see where all the water's at. So I opened that up, and you can see there's water in it right now because it's pouring out the other side, so that's good. That means we got water in the reservoir and the radiator. And so the radiator was hot, the mule, so the mule was running hot, so that's not good for your mule. And like I said, that light will come on. Well, the reservoir over here was bone dry, and it's a big reservoir, but you only fill it up to that line right there. Um, so I need to put a little water in it. You can see where that water line is. Well, we, me and Three South Alabama Rednecks, we were figuring out how in the world to do this. So it's what we did. We just followed this line, cleaned it up. We thought we had a leak in this this line right here to the reservoir, or to the from the reservoir to the radiator. But the radiator actually had like no water in it. It was sucking water from the reservoir. But cause and we could find no water leaking anywhere from down and so this tube right here it'll go all back through there and it comes to and it comes in to right there into the radiator and yeah and I always keep some water in there somebody gave this to us when we broke down we were riding dirt roads back behind our house and I keep water in here in case it ever does overheat but whatever you do if you're riding and if you overheat, do not touch that and open it right after the thing turns red. Don't touch it. I mean, you can touch it, but make sure you got a towel, but don't open it. Well, I would wait 30 minutes at least, because if you open that right whenever you stop, water's going to spew out everywhere because it's boiling and it's hot and it will burn your skin and it will hurt. I've never done it, but uh. I've heard about it happening, and I was like, okay. So yeah, that's that's how I keep it from overheating. Um, and one thing you want to do is you want to make sure you lift up the seat, and you want to make sure there's oil in here. That's where you put the oil in, and you can check it by this little pull thing, my bob. And there's plenty of oil in it. And how you check it? Because we just put some in there. Hey, you check it. You get like a towel. I always keep a towel back here. I always keep a towel and you run it until you see where it's at. So it's probably about. There's plenty of oil in there. That's enough. We just put some in there. So, yeah, that's how you check the oil. And then you just stick it back over in that thing right, right there. Make sure you got it all the way in, too. So. Alright guys, well that's how you keep a, a Kawasaki Mule 310 3010 from overheating. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. This is Brains Outdoors. Stay tuned for more.